hominid migration. So the migration of the Homo sapiens, but also not just the Homo sapiens, but but other um, ancestors to 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 our humanness. Um, so let's let's first look at kind of a, a family tree here, and we'll go back about three or four million years ago to Australopithecus afarensis, and it branches at this point into um, the Paranthropus, which um, kind of is a dead end in a sense, and then the Homo genus, the other, all the species that came from the Homo genus, which we are a part of. And um, this is about two million years ago or so. This is still in Africa. And we have three species that we know of. There's probably more. Um, you remember, we can only know what we find fossils for. We have Habilis, Ergaster, and Erectus. And two of those, Habilis and Ergaster, um, as far as we can tell from the fossil evidence, um, died out in about 500,000 years or so, um, which is still a really long time. Um, in the grand scheme of things, it's not a very long time, but compared to our history, that's a really long time. But one of those, Homo erectus, that's the first species that we have evidence of that left Africa. Now, that doesn't mean they, they were the first to leave Africa. It just means they're the first that we found the evidence of. And they lasted a really long time, from about 2 million years ago to about 300, 400,000 years ago or so. Um, that's a really long history, longer than all the other um, human ancestors, and certainly longer than we've been here. And, um, and they migrated um, into China and East Africa, and... Um, that we know, that we have fossil evidence, and they might have gone other places too. And then there's another species that's been found and named um, Homo antecessor, and that was for um, a couple hundred thousand years. And in Spain and Ethiopia, it's been found. Again, it could be elsewhere as well. And then there's a bit of a gap. We have Homo heidelbergensis, and this is more in Europe it was found. And this is a pretty long... Um, period of existence, about 500,000 years, and that overlaps with Neanderthalensis, which is a couple hundred thousand year existence as well, and then we overlap with that with the last 200,000 years, and so um, it, it it looks like, based on the fossil evidence we have so far, that um, Afarensis led to um, Ergaster or Erectus or maybe both of those. Uh, might have been a speciation event where you had two or three that came from that one common ancestor um, through adaptive radiation. And then um, one of those, Ergaster or Erectus possibly, led to Antecessor, which might have led to Heidelbergensis, to, which then might have divided into both Homo sapiens in one branch and Neanderthal in the other branch. But, you know, there's there's lots of gaps here too. So there's this could be the correct lineage, or there could be pieces that are missing that we'll discover that will change one of these things, and we'll discover that um, maybe we're a, a descendant of another species that we we haven't even found yet. But let's look at a map of the world now and think about where we started here in Africa. And it's looking like Homo erectus um, might have gone over into Asia at some point and might have gone up into um, Europe at some point as well. Um, and and could have gone elsewhere as well. And then Homo sapiens um, came, we think, originated in Africa, not um, from the species that had moved out already, um, but in Africa. And keep in mind that when Homo erectus moved out, it still probably stayed in Africa as well. So it didn't move all of its population, it spread um, um, it didn't relocate. And the Homo sapiens, we have a lot of genetic evidence and fossil evidence and archaeological evidence that has us spreading from about 200,000 years ago into the rest of Africa, and then possibly over and into Asia in a line that might have um, not survived. Um, uh, so a, a population migrated to the east and then kind of died out. Uh, but then other migrations after that, maybe 60,000 years ago or 80,000 years ago, spread up in through Israel in the Middle East 
and then over into Asia and down into Australia, and then up into Europe and up into Northern Europe, and then across what is now Russia, and then across into the Americas. And that all began probably about 60 to 80,000 years ago and then spread over that time. Um, and the last colonization, the last spread was over into the Americas. And there's, there's debate about this. Um, there's some evidence that would indicate it was probably as recent as 15,000 years ago. However, there's some conflicting evidence that shows some modern human evidence as long as 30,000 years ago down in South America, which means they would have had to have come through North America much longer ago than we originally thought. Um, but somewhere around 60 to 80,000 years ago is when we came out of Africa and then spread throughout the rest of the globe over a period of about 20 to 30,000 years.